Welcome to the Promenade on the Allure of the Seas in January of 2024. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel, and it is embarkation day. It is uh, probably around 12-ish, 12.30, something like that. It's, you know, middle of the day. A lot of the passengers are starting to board the ship. And as you can see, the uh, crew members have got everything laid out for you. You got all your cups in case you want to sign up for the soda package, and they've got all the liquor there on display. Uh, tempting you to sign up for the alcoholic beverage package if you haven't already done so. And as we make our way through the uh, the promenade here and you see all of the usual favorites over here, you got Sorrento's and Cafe Promenade over here on the right. And they've got the little setup right there to try to entice you to sign up for the restaurant, uh, you know, dining package if you haven't already done it. You got your crew members here that uh, will help you with your muster station and, and finding it on the ship if you uh, are not sure where to go. And so it's just kind of a, you know, the promenade is just busy on embarkation day. Um, here we are coming up to uh, deck number six. And we're going to make our way back here and just kind of check out the boardwalk a little bit, which is also another busy part of the ship. And like I said, embarkation day, everybody's sort of exploring the ship. And, you know, even if you've been on the ship before, this was our third time on Allure. It had been 10 years since the last time we were on here. But it's always it's just that part of that fun of embarkation day of just sort of like, you know, you're at the start of your cruise and just sort of either learning the layout of the ship or sort of refamiliarizing yourself with the layout. And so that's kind of what we were doing right here. And like I said, it's uh, January of 2024. This is uh, one of the little four night cruises out of Port Canaveral that Royal Caribbean started to do to introduce the Oasis class and the Royal Caribbean cruising to new cruisers, right? So they get a chance to experience the big Oasis class ships and they could book a nice little four night cruise to the Bahamas. And cause we went to Nassau and then perfect date, Coca Key, and then right back to Port Canaveral. And so it's a good introduction into cruising. And so Royal Caribbean is doing that with the allure of the seas here up until the Utopia of the Seas launches later in 2024. And the Utopia will sort of take up the mantle and run the three and four night cruises over to the Bahamas for the foreseeable future, easily into 2025. So uh, it was always good to get back on the allure, right? We hadn't been on there in quite a few years, as I mentioned. So here we are on the boardwalk, embarkation day. And uh, one o'clock, they opened up the stateroom. So we were just back here kind of checking everything out before we went to the stateroom to sort of get the luggage and get unpacked and everything. And you see uh, some of the muster stations set up and you got the aqua theater back here. And one of the cool things too about the aqua theater back here during the, during the, the embarkation day in the afternoon is uh, they're back here doing some practicing for some of the, uh, the Ocean Aria show. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So we got a chance to capture some of the practice back here. And we've seen them do it before, but it's always kind of cool to watch them go through the motions and practice their dives and everything back here. See inside, you can't go my way. You keep it in the middle, I find something. 